hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to download different bible versions right inside of free show so without further ado let's get started so the first thing you want to do is to go over to google.com and type this following word so let's say you want to do english bible and english bible so type bible space xml then um you put cheat up but note you want to add the version of bible you want so you're going to come over here and add let's say king james version kjv xml so we're going to search you're going to go to the first option right here and it's going to bring uh the results that we've got right here so King James Version is giving us the root file. Uh, you can always search right here and type King James Version. So can you see? So you got the Thai KJV. That's not what we are looking for. We want the English, so we can type English KJV. So it's showing that there's no results. So what we can do is go back again. To this option uh yeah yeah exactly you could see the second result here click on the second result it's going to bring you to this page and give you the english bible version version rather <laughs> english bible version <laughs> what accent is that english bible version and king james version you've got um different other version here in um uh, japan and all of the other languages so you got king james version you just go over here and click on download road file so it's going to download the file so the next thing you want to do i haven't downloaded that just go through the same process search again for um rsv or whatever version you are looking for let's say amplified amplified it's not here if it's not there just go over to google again type google.com and just type um search for um amplified xml add bible to it amplified bible xml then add github so it's going to give you this right here for amplified and it's going to open the results um you got the download raw file here click on it it's going to download the amplified version you've got this other version here esv just click on it and click on this download right here it's going to download the esv uh the same thing goes for every other versions that you've got here the king james version so i'm going to click on download and i'm going to have that downloaded so i haven't downloaded the file i'll go back to my free show and you click on new scripture click on local click import local file i already have the file all the bible version here in this folder so i'm just going to highlight all of them and click open open right here it's going to import all the bible versions right here so can you see it has installed six bible version from open song and two from biblia zephania all right so we have all the bible versions right here so you could see if i click on new king james version i can display that right here and if i go to message translation i have it right here and if you want it to be showing the message translation the version of the bible you have displayed just come over here down here and click on show version show version then double click again it's going to show you the bible version but you could see that it's showing it directly under the reference but if you don't want that to happen if you want it to appear side by side just come over here and to edit this just click the bar space to delete um then you have the reference and the version side by side so if you double click again you're going to have them side by side but you can go further by adding a parenthesis to the version i will do this then i will do this as well 
and so if i double click it's going to add the bible version inside a parenthesis and that is pretty fine so and if you want to create a bible collection where you can display um king james version and amplified version at the same time i've got a tutorial right here that you need to watch that will be very helpful and that is it about this tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you find it helpful don't forget to give me a like subscribe to this channel and then click on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and i will see you in my next video bye